Gaming at the office has only lately become a possibility, with many business laptops offering at least integrated graphics that are capable enough for some light esports games to kill some time with your colleagues. However, recently, we have seen some devices sport both the features and performance of an enterprise machine, along with the proper gaming hardware, to both play games, as well as create them. Well, our Lenovo ThinkPad T15G Generation 2 has an RTX 3080. Yep, it doesn't come cheap, so you'll have to be pretty high on the totem pole at work for your boss to buy one for you. On the outside, we find a traditional ThinkPad design, with a chassis that is made of a hybrid material of plastic and glass fiber. Of course, it has no durability issues, as both the base and the lid are very strong. However, portability is sacrificed as much as possible, with the laptop having a max weight of 3.07 kilos if you choose a touch-enabled model. Going to the base, there sits a typical ThinkPad keyboard with long key travel, clicky feedback, and spill resistance. We also find a red track point, along with a touchpad with three dedicated buttons on top. The pad itself could be better, it's a bit small and has a rough surface. There is a ton of I.O. coverage, including two full-sized USB ports, one Type-C port, and two Thunderbolt 4 ports. There's also an HDMI 2.1 which means that T15G Generation 2 supports 8K monitors, plus a LAN port, SD card reader, and an audio jack. Usually, workstation devices are among the best in terms of upgradability, and the T15G Generation 2 is no different coming with a total of 4 SATAM RAM slots and 3 M.2 PCIe X4 slots. The displays here are a thing of beauty, offering both a full HD IPS variant along with two 4K UHD screens with either an IPS or an OLED panel. We're testing the full HD variant which has good viewing angles, and a high maximum brightness of around 500 nits. In terms of creator capabilities, the panel has 96% sRGB coverage and reaches a good level of accuracy using our design and gaming profile. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The 94 watt hours battery works well with the Core i7-11800H and the RTX 3080 lasting for 10 hours of web browsing and 7 and a half hours of video playback. Impressive. The Core i7 performs well enough, but it's getting heavily outclassed by Alder Lake. The laptop is much more competitive in GPU-related tasks, with the RTX 3080 being a top GPU. It also performs well in games, managing to max out most titles at Full HD, while delivering well over the 60fps mark. Cooling-wise, the CPU quickly reaches 99 degrees Celsius and maintains it throughout the entire stress test. There is also a dip in the clock speeds. The GPU runs cooler, capping out at 82 degrees Celsius, but the clock speeds are lower than the rest of the field. Here's something interesting. Officially, this RTX 3080 has a 90 watts TGP. However, it's actually the 110 watts variant. On the other hand, the cooling system can't handle its full potential, and it only goes to 103 watts. Still better than 90 watts. The temps on the outside are pretty good, with a hotspot of just 43.2 degrees Celsius. This laptop looks like a workstation and has a lot of features to back it up. However, its cooling system isn't good enough for the most powerful hardware so we wouldn't recommend getting it in its top configuration. Otherwise, it's a solid notebook, just what we would expect from a ThinkPad machine. 